values that align perfectly with this iconic rowing event. Be sure to visit for a test drive Rivian's booth along the race course and learn more about their cutting edge electronic vehicles and how they're paving the way to a green, cleaner future. Big thanks to you, Rivian for supporting the athletes and this event. And a big thanks as well to Teddy's Peanut Butter, our favorite peanut butter here at Cambridge Boat Club. It's a family-owned company, owned by members here, and it's all natural, no sugar, no problems. Get to stir it up. Make sure you stir it well, otherwise the last bit will be sort of stiff. But it is a fabulous delight for a solid peanut fan like mine. All right, we're about to have some action here. Whew. Women's Collegiate Four is coming up now, and we're guessing we're having an upset because this lead boat is bow number three, Carleton College from Ottawa, Ontario. Come down here to the Charles to make a mark, and they've passed two boats. They know they're doing well. Next up is the course record holder, uh, FIT. He came second yesterday. Uh, the team set the record in 2019. Following them is bound number two, Clemson. And these three boats have opened up a significant oh, margin. Big time. Over the gap, rest of so the, uh, the nicely field. Nicely done, Carlton. Nicely done as well to Clemson and FIT. Big time gap. Just gonna mark as they go through here. and We'll see what kind of distance we're gonna get. Now this is the largest gap that we've seen this afternoon, but because of the nature of head racing, it doesn't actually tell the whole story. Our next crew is bow number six. That bow is number six. Jefferson, who finished ninth in this event last year. Jefferson University from Philadelphia, known for its excellent medical school and hospital. Now ninth they, last year, could be quite different this year. They would already know they've passed some boats. And they are followed by bow number five, which is Northwestern from Evanston, Illinois, practicing on the Great Lake, Michigan. And here we go, getting a big push here in bow number six. Now in the bright blue boat, we have URI Boat Club from Rhode Island. The rowers are Madison Fuller, Abigail Mitchell, Angelina Luongo, Allison Asif, and Carolyn Creamer. They're followed in the white boat by bow number nine. Wow. Bow number nine has made up some ground as well. That is Wash U from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, this, uh, this field has spread themselves wide out here. Next up on the outside of the bend is bow number eight. 
That is Grand Valley from Michigan. Yeah, we've seen Grand Valley go by in the men's. It's the oldest sport in that university. Accra champions, Division Two, not Division Three. And they are followed in the yellow hall by, I assume, Georgia Tech by the colors. Yeah. More rambling wrecks from Georgia Tech with their bright yellow, looking great. Finishing off this regatta and the water has calmed down. There's less of a headwind here. It's really a free to roam. Next up in the black hull, we have bow number 12, Gordon College from Wenham, Mass. Yeah, so right near here, very small school. Uh, we're gonna see in the director's eights, uh, Gordon College family, the Hopkins family eight race, but a great program. And you, now we have bow seven closer to us. That's the University of New Hampshire. Go Wildcats. UNH. They have a beautiful place to row. Down on the Piscataqua River. I'm impressed you know how to announce that. <laughs> Next uh, up is Bates. Bates. Uh, number bow thir number th 13. Yeah. And after the crews being quite spread out, we now have a real almost veritable traffic jam here. Next up, we have number 14, Illinois. In the dark blue hull, Illinois with the orange blades. Following them is number 18, who's made up some ground from Geneva, New York, William Smith. Oh uh, yeah, which is the sister to Hobart College, doing very well. And then we have bows number 17 and 19, neck and neck. Number 19, uh, with a written on the side of their boat is Texas. UT. Number 17 no. is Bowden. And that Texas boat is probably not UT, it's probably the club. Then we have bow number 15, which is Pittsburgh. And Fall the yellow, yellow, I mean the brighter yellow, the next yellow, 16, is Tulane from New Orleans. Terrific. Next up in the white hull, with the cocks waving to the crowd oh, the is Amherst. Very impressive, Amherst. Looking for your family. And then behind them in the purple crosses. So what do we Without think? a bow number. Without a bow number, I'm going to assume it's Amherst. I th well, purple is Amherst. Could be, yeah. What? There's a cross on the board. The, I don't. I don't see it. But we don't know how to. Assumption? Oh, well, that would be really guessing. Yeah. Okay, now, race continues. More boats following. Here we go. Boat number 22. It's White Blades. It's from Trinity College. Hartford having a good row. Sort of probably feeling a little lonely there, but they can see the crews behind them. They know what they're racing for. Yep, around 100 yards behind them is um, bound number 25, Mount Holyoke College. Okay, bound number 25 here in the white hull and blue shirts. And following them with the bright yellow blades with looks like bear paws on them is bound number 21, Adrian College. From Adrian College from Addison, Michigan. They're bulldogs. That's what you see on those blades. Mm. Bulldogs I coming off a successful spring under new head coach Andy Wemmer. Coming up on them is number 23 on the inside there. That is Simmons, hometown team from here in Boston. Following them in the orange uni suits is number 27. That is RIT of Rochester. Got some conservative steering going on here. On the inside in the red uni suits is number 34. 
having made up some ground. That is Lafayette. Wow, Lafayette starting way back at 34 has pushed themselves into the 20s. In fact, just past boat 24, which is Assumption College from Worcester, Mass. So nice job, Lafayette. Next up is number 29 in the white hull and the blue uni suits. That is Franklin and Marshall out of Wrightsville, Pennsylvania. This is their first time back at the regatta since the pandemic. And here we have almost an orderly parade of boats coming down. Boat 31 here, not hard to figure this one out. Washington College all over the side of it. Boat 31 from Washington College. And next up is bow number 28, Connecticut College from New London, Connecticut. And they row as does Coast Guard on the Thames River. Following them with the Red Blades and Chevrons, as I've learned, is number 33, Wesleyan. All right. Wesleyan University from Middletown, Connecticut, rowing on the Connecticut River and a very big, powerful part of it. Next up with the purple and yellow blades and white boat, bound number 35. That is Williams College out of Pittsfield, Mass. Williams College, historically a very good D3 women's program. And they just keep on coming here. Next up is bound number 38 from Chicago, the University of Chicago. They're, they're into puns because what they wrote for us is we're known for rowing economically. Wow, very clever. All right, let's go. University of Chicago, all off to the Booth School, I assume. All right, we have more traffic coming. First up is bow number 40, University of Rochester. And that is in the White Hull with the uh, Blue Blades, University of Rochester, which started last in this race. Great feeling to start last and look back and see five boats behind you. Next up is bow 30. That's the silver boat. That is American University attending the head of the Charles for the first time in 15 years. Welcome back. Following them is bow number 39. That wow. is Penn State. Penn State. This crew plays third in the Club Four event at the Dad Vales and fourth at the Accra. Behind them is bow number 26, Black Hull. That is Brandeis. 37 is on Brandeis's stern. And 37 is Marietta College. Approaching the bridge with the yellow blades and white boat. That is bow number 36, UC Santa Barbara, their women's varsity four. Yeah, and we'll just check the internet, but we believe that could be our last boat. I don't, don't know, we saw that. 